Hey, welcome back to my channel. I am in uh, Coolidge, Arizona, and I'm flying over Nikola Motors. Today is the 17th of December, 2023. And the last time I flew over this was in 2021, probably in the spring of 2021. What a difference. Not in the facility, but there were zero trucks the last time I flew over. And as you look at them, there are seem like there's hundreds of them of semis. Now Nikola makes both the electric semi truck day cabs and the hydrogen day cabs. And I'm not a much in favor of the hydrogen because uh, what if you break down or where are you, you going to fuel it? I, I'm sure they have hydrogen production there, but a, a person like Pepsi or Coke or UPS or that haul semis around, you know, they're not going to have a hydrogen station there, but they will have electricity. So I'm hoping that out of those hundreds of semis out there, that most of them, if not all of them, are electric. And the advantage of electric for short runs is incredible, especially if you charge at your own facility. Think about Electrify America for a minute. Even if you have a membership that you pay every month, electricity is 38 cents, I think, in a lot of places it might be different, but 38 cents a kilowatt hour. And think about what Tesla says about their semi-truck, which is equivalent to the Nikola and weight between 25 and 28,000 pounds. Uh, 1.7 miles, they say it gets, well, 1.7 kilowatt hours per mile. And supposedly that's at 60 miles an hour. I don't know what the speed limit, when I drove in California, the speed limit was 55 for trucks. I don't know if it's changed since then, but that's been many years since I've been in California with a semi-truck. But that, if you went to Electrify America, and let's say I got two, it makes it easier, two kilowatts per mile for an 80,000 pound load. That's 76 cents a kilowatt, a kilowatt hour. So. 76 cents. Well, what does it cost to drive a semi? Let's say the fuel is five dollars. It's not five dollars, but let's say it is. Throughout America, it's going to be less than that. Here, it's like 350 a gallon. But if you got eight miles per gallon, which a lot of the new semis do get, that's uh, if it's four dollars, it'd be 50 cents a mile. Well, if it costs 76 cents a mile to fill up your truck on electricity, and it costs you 50 cents to fill up your mile. Fill up your uh, 50 cents a mile on a diesel truck. Well, it doesn't even make sense to even go from diesel. Because, you know, you can go 10,000 miles before you need the oil change. Some people go 15,000 miles. So the advantage for a long haul is not here yet because the infrastructure is not there. And Elon Musk says he's going to set up the infrastructure and only charge 4 cents a kilowatt hour for his Tesla semi and I doubt that that will happen because uh, that's a huge discount but even if you were to fill it up at home not home but at your facility and it's uh, 11 cents a kilowatt hour well then it's a fraction of the price of driving a diesel and your maintenance would be far far less pretty excited about uh, Tesla and uh, Nikola and I think even uh, Freightliner's got electric vehicles coming out. Peterbilt probably's got them coming out. They're coming. I don't know if they're not ready for uh, over the road, which means long distance ones where you're going three or five hundred miles because of the weight of the batteries. But anyway, uh, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this Nikola video.